Okay, so welcome to the second match uh, that I've recorded. This was a game against another chap from Cardiff called Callum. Uh, so obviously having gone 4-0, the, the competition was certainly getting a little bit more fierce. Uh, won the dice roll and decided to go first with my Rhino deck Andromeda. Uh, my friend running the traditional uh, traditional MBM. So, off we go. I've got the handshake, which is, you know, always a nice, you know, nice formality and things. So, uh, I'm a little bit nervous going into this one. Um, I knew that my opponent had a similar record. I think he had dropped one game. Um, I knew it was going to be challenging, but a fairly standard opening of Ice Ice in install. Running on the assumption it's probably something like a San San or maybe a uh, Jackson Howard. Uh, I plonk down my Desperado. Click one. Click two is uh, John Masanori. Getting my uh, full value set up, which is always nice. I was definitely short on economy cards uh, this game, as I recall. I think the economy was, was where I began to struggle. Didn't have the money to trash the cards I needed to trash. Um, but I, I certainly had you know, the, the breakers that I needed. You can see a fem on my hand, so there we go. Run it to Sansan. Third click. Unfortunately, can't afford to trash it. But I do get my value out of the Masanori and the Desperado. So already I knew exactly what I was going to be facing. Fairly standard NBN rush. Fast advance. And it is a challenge, there's no denying it. I, I do struggle defeating a uh, fast advance. It's very, very difficult to deal with. So discarding. Taking some money, discarding. I'm discarding my extra John Masanori. Uh, I've got one more left to get rid of. <coughs> Possibly two, actually. Um, I've got a handful of account siphons, which is both a blessing and a curse. I think I'm deciding to get rid of one of them. I think I had three in my hand at the time. So protecting his Sansan. Setting up another remote. Again, low on my economy cards for sure here. Didn't have any short gambles, any easy marks. Um, I didn't have any daily casts. Very difficult to get the money for it. So running against R&D. Res. At this point I realise that uh, I need to make sure he doesn't have the money to use his Sansan. And installing my daily cast. Uh, sorry, bleh, my daily loop reversal from the successful run on R&D. Thinking maybe to draining the top. <laughs> Running HQ. Again, I figured he would probably want to conserve the money he need he wanted. He needed to conserve the cash for, for fast advance. Bring out the corroder. So again, I'm I'm feeling happier about my uh, scoring a deal. At this point, I'm getting a little bit concerned. So I was left wide open, effectively. Didn't even need the sand sand. Maker's eye. First click. Nothing. Nothing. And uh, nothing. Always depressing. <laughs> I think I've got an, e an inside job in hand as well, which probably would have been nice the last game. I think I top decked it with the uh, Masanori, which is a shame. So, three clicks left. I know the Sand Sand's going to be a real problem. Um, I think at this point I'm debating whether to gather the funds or go in and trash it. Having already scored a two point agenda, I know I'm going to have problems already. At least it wasn't an Astro script. Once that train gets started, it is very difficult to stop. So running against this hand, third click. Again, uh, it's a Jackson, oh no, sorry, it's a marked counts. Again, high trash value cards. Very difficult to justify the five trash cost on that. And he's drawing up. Drawing up big time. Looking for his agendas. He's got exactly what he needs. Uh, 
So protecting R and D. Assuming uh, that's going to be the mark count there, undefended. Which I ran against and should have known better, really. And again, it was an easy way to score a credit in a, a card. Probably should didn't need to run there though. So will the count siphon? I need the cash. I mean, these are pretty much my only economy cards in hand. All of static, which I can break with uh, <coughs> with my Corroda. But again, he's just looking to drain the credits so that there's nothing to drain. I need to gain. So I break through, say, I don't really want to drain credits. I'll access a card instead. And nothing. Anonymous tip, I think it was. Again, which he's using to just get his way through the deck as quickly as feasibly possible, looking for the agendas. He know I'm, I'm in. He knows I'm in a position at the moment where I'm struggling to break through. Access R and D and nothing. <laughs> Last click. Again, still struggling for my economy. Never quite getting enough cash. <laughs> so he raises the marked counts and uh, puts three credits on it. That's an enormous tip, draw three. And uh, raising up, uh, icing up HQ, looking to, I guess, to avoid the extra uh, the, uh, the account siphon. Certainly attacking his credit pool is a viable option. Um, I am concerned about the unrest sand sand still. So we are trashing Jackson Howard. And we're going to dirty laundry onto R and D and steal. There's the Astra script. So I'm always happy to take that one away from him. So two points all. And I get the extra money out of it as well, so even better. All about the value. And I decided to get lucky, but unfortunately not. So I paid to break through. Oh, I trashed, sorry, I trashed uh, something else. And another score! Character assassination. So it's four points to two. I definitely got lucky off the R&D pools there. No, you're just taking money. <laughs> Certainly sensing the, the vulnerability in uh, R&D at the moment. He's got ice, but he's not willing to res it. One could assume it's probably a toll booth or something like that. So pop-up window, HQ, a little bit more expensive to run through now. Three credits for me to break, effectively. The Corroda. I'm not going to be doing that too often. But I'm assuming with all those anonymous tips, he must have some agendas in hand. Uh, the sand sand, so he's got another one in there in hand, which is always a concern. Even if I've trashed the one that's in the remote, I'm still going to have another one to deal with. And he hasn't actually paid anything yet. He's only going to pay for it when he can score with it. And then another account siphon. So again, looking to drain the cash. Pop-up window actually working against him there, uh, giving him another credit, which for me to steal, and I'll take the money. I was surprised not to see him res the sand sand then. Um, I thought he probably would, rather than give me the money, which I sorely sorely needed. So I'll take the ten credits. Thank you very much. And two tags. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I actually floated tags. I think I may have. Oh no, I cleared them. Again, I think probably in retrospect there, I, um, I may have actually just floated those tags. If I'd lost my Masanori or Data Leak Reversal, wouldn't have been too worried. So installing an upgrade there in R&D. Another anonymous tip, so I think that's all three now. Drawing his hand up, looking for those elusive agendas. But he is low on money. 
dirty laundry through to HQ. Looking to see if he's pulled any off the top. So another mark counts. Not something I'm going to trash at this stage in the game. I think at this point I've got the impetus. Um, just one of the yog, so I can break through any code gates that may come up. And then running on R and D. So, and it's a robo turret. Yeah, wasn't ready for that one. Was not ready for that one at all. So he trashes the corroder. Somewhat unfortunate. And there we are. We bounce off. I take the tag, which I then clear. <laughs> So I'm now worried about getting through onto R&D. I don't think it's likely. Wondering what the upgrade is. Um, again, probably a red herrings. It's a hedge fund. So he's got all the money that he needs. He's got back up to nine credits. I think I'm struggling on four again. Pretty much blew all of my uh, money. Make the run on archives to gain a credit draw card. My own very own pers uh, professional con contacts. <coughs> At this point, I think I'm considering whether to, to just keep running on his hand, um, try and prevent him from scoring anything from hand with the sand sign, which I know is there. Take a credit and play Shore Gamble. Build up my pool. One click left. I really am debating going in to take out the Sand Sand at this point. Decide against it. Probably one of the key mistakes. And here we go. So, and install, and there's the Astra script, so now I'm really up against it. Yeah. Now he's got the Astra script token and a Res Sansan. -san. He pretty much can score the next agenda at, at will for free. So it's four points, to, four points all. And the pressure's on. I know he's got the extra sand sign in hand. First click inside job to take it out. I know it's it's too much of a threat. Again, the better play probably would have been to have done that b before it was raised. In retrospect. <coughs> I'm not actually sure what, how many credits he was on at this point. It, it may have been that I could have just run against there rather than using the inside job, but uh, I think he still had a, a few, enough to bounce me off anyway. I would have been more confident if I'd kept my Corroda, but uh, with only a Yog in hand I didn't really fancy it. So daily casts, trying to build the economy up for the end game, which is quickly approaching, even more quickly with NBN deck. <laughs> No, I'm certainly up against it now. I will install right on the end. Okay. So his economy is looking sharp. So he uh, installs and puts three on both. I'm going to gain an extra credit each, two, two credits each turn. Now he is low on money. But he's got nothing in the remotes, nothing he needs to concern himself with too much. Still got the upgrade in R&D. And a robo turret I can do nothing about. I'm locked out of HQ because I don't have my corroder left. Uh, I'm getting a little bit edgy. So I'm drawing up, trying to find something to go and bring it out with. I'm thinking at this point, um, just to try and attack R&D, stop him from pulling the agenda off the top. So it's a, a 
a preparatory round. So I'm discarding the day fleet reversal, which I no longer need. Money. I'm not sure what the far remote one was. I think it might have been another marked accounts, but don't quote me on that. Put it right out of the way of the camera, unfortunately. So two clicks. Having really a good old ponder here. Third and fourth clicks. Credits there. Or was I looking to install a program? Yeah, so I go in special order and look for. I think I may have gone and looked for a Crypsis here. Oh, another Corrodus, sorry, tell a lie. So attacking HQ is the plan. I didn't, I knew I didn't have the time for the Crypsis. Though, again, it can break through Robo Turret with ease. Having zero strength. <laughs> Looking to attack HQ again. <laughs> Break through. Try and attack it. See what we pull out the top. Uh, give him back his San San. That was probably an error as well. I don't think. I think I had, I had four credits. I think I was one credit short. Yep, I was one credit short. Shall I go through again? And <laughs> pull the San San again. Joy. You might, you might even have two in hand. Wouldn't surprise me. There goes one of the San Sans. Probably there goes the other San San. So it's now a question of take your pick. You can't have both. It's got a healthy amount of credits. I am supplying them, unfortunately, by going through on HQ. The pop up window has generated him easily six or seven, I think, at this stage. I think possibly, again, here, the better play was probably attacking RD. Uh, rather than going through on HQ, I uh, I think it was it was a key error. Again, just supplying him too much money to use his sand sands when I should have been trying to keep him poor. I just drew another special order there. <coughs> Took some money. Discarding the spare yog. Raising the sand sand. Playing Project Beal. Didn't even need to use the Astro Script token, which is still there, which is now obviously a real problem. And again, he's got the, uh, pretty sure, another sand sand in the server next to it. So even if I go in and trash that one, all he needs is seven cre uh, eight credits, and he's there. Not even that, because of the Astro Script token. So it is balls to the wall time. He's on match point. I am not. If he has the agenda in hand, I'm pretty much stuffed. So I... Uh, run on R&D, take my card and my credits, play the fairy so I can break through Robo Turret once for free, <coughs> and then make his eye R&D. And here comes the biggest error in the game, absolutely horrific. He reses the red herrings, making each, uh, each agenda cost five to steal, and I don't trash the damn thing. So there's one agenda on top, which is a two-pointer. I pay the five without trashing the chuffing upgrade. And so that agenda cost me five to steal. 
The next agenda, which I see in the third card, which would have won me the game, also would have cost, had to cost me five credits, which meant, unfortunately, I could no longer trash. I could no longer uh, steal the agenda. So I had the game. It was within my grasp. I take the agenda. I don't take the third one because I can't afford it. Goes back on the top of the pile. And I just suddenly realised my despair. Um, again, I had exactly enough money to go in, trash the red herrings for one, uh, steal the top agenda for five, and then steal the, th the third card, which was another agenda, I think it was a false lead, for another credit, uh, for, uh, for free. And it would have been the match. But alas, alas, I made a fatal error in judgment, and uh, it cost me the game. It cost me the game, not to spoil things, but here comes the last move, last turn. My opponent, again, all he needed was the agenda, which he had. Reses it for one. And there it is, Gillahans. And that's the game. 7-6. And I saw, uh, I had seen another Gillahans. It was a Gillahans, sorry, not a, a, a false lead. And didn't have the money to take it, because I did it in the wrong order. A heartbreak, absolute heartbreak, but very close. Um, like I say, Calum certainly played very well. And uh, moved on now to the next game.